I'm here with Christian Parenti, the author of Tropic of Chaos, which has just come out. It's a, it's a story about climate change and how it affects different regions of the world. Can you explain uh, sort of the premise of your book and what you found? Yeah, the book looks at how climate change is already causing violence around the world, particularly in the global south. So I look at the intersection between Cold War, the legacy of Cold War militarism, free market, economic restructuring, and now the onset of anthropogenic climate change. And I trace this story from the Horn of Africa through Afghanistan, India, Pakistan, to Latin America, up to the U.S. border, and look at how climate change is causing civil war, religious war, banditry, increased violence, and then in the end look at how we might begin to uh, address some of these problems in terms of adapting to this increased levels of violence and of course most importantly mitigating the, the problem of greenhouse gas emissions. Sure, and one anecdote you, you touched on in your panel discussion was, was, was Somalia and, and how, how how violence is spreading there and, and, and uh, societies have been uprooted. Uh, yeah. what, can you can you elaborate on one of those anecdotes? Yeah, I mean in, in the Horn of Africa uh, you see this combination of cheap weaponry left over from the Cold War, very bad state policy that is cutting support to pastoralists and farmers, combining now with the worst drought in 60 years. It is very infamously creating famine, but it's also creating warfare. And then another anecdote, the, the book, the idea for the book came to me in Afghanistan while researching the opium economy. It turns out one of the reasons farmers grow opium, which is an illegal crop, which causes them, when they're attacked for growing it, causes them to side with the Taliban. One reason they grow opium, it uses one-sixth the amount of water of wheat. Afghanistan is living through the, the worst living drought in living memory. It coincides with the whole U.S. occupation there. So even in that war, there's a climatological aspect. It's not the cause of the war, but it's a contributing factor for why there's endless recruits for the Taliban.